Hey guys, me, Roger Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. This is an exciting update. We've got uh, some really good changes ahead here for the West as far as being cold and snowier with this pattern shift after 1.5. This is what I'm seeing now in the data. It's going to be colder. It's going to be snowier uh, between the key windows, 1.6 to about 1.9 for Utah, Wyoming, Idaho, Montana, Colorado, potentially, and I think really where the bulk of this is going to come from is like a two-storm combo. One between one six and probably one seven one eight. A second storm will come in on its heels very quickly. One eight one nine, potentially turning the atmospheric winds to more of a west northwest flow. Uh, along with the colder, I think we're going to see pretty good uh, snow generation out of this. In California, you've got snow one three, one six, and one eight. The best snow with the lowest snow levels will come after one five with the colder air coming in. In the northeast, you've got snow 1.7 and 1.9. And what's really interesting about the northeast is you might benefit what, from what's happening out west. Um, assuming the perfect storm track and all of that, I'll show you what could be the worst case scenario or best case scenario, however you want to view it coming up for the northeast. All right, let me take you over to water vapor this morning and show you, I mean, we've got a number of, like I've been calling it to the last couple of days, closed low syndrome, um, that phrase out of uh, meteorologist Corey Gates, a uh, number of strong defined areas of low pressure coming in, hitting the West Coast, California, and then that's it. They don't do anything else. So here's one low. Here's another one behind it. Big low up here out of the Gulf of Alaska. This one goes south. No effect. This one goes south. This one also goes south, but it has more of an effect. It's more pronounced hitting California, and then it drops south, and it, it snows in southern Utah and southern Colorado and New Mexico on 1-4. That's the one this storm that will pave the way for another storm which is off the screen up here. That's storm number four. That one will be the one that pattern that changes the pattern and then really just lays down the cold air and the snow and then there may be one more storm that rides in quickly after that with uh, with even colder air. All right here is the forecast radar and satellite. So that's the, the situation by this afternoon. A little bit of snow over the western slope of Colorado. By the time we get in tomorrow morning, that one low goes south, becomes nothing, and it's a waiting game. Uh, by 1-2, here comes the next potential storm system moving into the west coast. This is the one that will pave the way. Look at the snow in Tahoe, Mammoth, Shasta, uh, through parts of Oregon. This one will dive south, and it will snow through Bryan Head in southern Utah right here on 1-4. And also in western and southwest Colorado, the southern mountains will get hit by this, as well as Arizona and New Mexico on 1-4, probably trickling into 1-5. You can see that there, that low goes south. But it opens the door, and here comes the key low. It's right there in the Pacific Northwest. That's the one that drags down the colder air from Canada and, and really sets up the pattern and helps to establish more widespread snow and a better snow profile through the atmosphere. All right, let me show you what um, what uh, the jet stream is going to look like with this. You'll really be able to see this play out. So there is the dip in the jet with that storm coming out of the Pacific Northwest, Alaska, Canada on 1.5. You can see it. It's dragging down. It's got the northern branch support in colder air finally because this has been like a two-week vacation with nothing across the Intermount West. Utah, Wyoming, Idaho, Colorado, Montana, nothing. It's been so warm. Here is the jet pattern. Look at this by 1.8, almost like a west-northwest setup, cold air sliding in, snow production, aura graphics. Uh, one day after this, look at the trough has deepened over Wyoming, Colorado, Utah on 1-9 with that second storm system benefiting. And look at the um, the amplification of that polar jet reaching up into Canada and pulling down that cold air. So if all this holds together, I think we're looking really good. Let me walk you through this. Now, this is what it could look like on 1-7, the forecast radar. Look at the widespread snow from Banff all the way down to New Mexico if this holds. And you can see that second storm system up there in the Pacific Northwest getting ready to ride in behind this this, this initial low pressure. Look at the numbers. So in the first period, very light, not a lot happening. Very light numbers. Second period's a little more active. Um, with that, that one low that goes south takes the southern track, you can see the potential snow. Several inches in Bryan Head, two to three to four down in southwest Colorado, northern New Mexico, and probably three to five, three to six through the Sierra. Even more higher up on the mountain. But this is the period that's most exciting. And guys, this is this if this plays out, I think you know, this is what we've been waiting on now for at least two weeks. So this is one six through one nine. There's potentially two storm systems captured here in the snowfall. We could be looking at one to two feet in a lot of areas, a number of spots, Tetons, Wasatch, parts of Colorado. 
Um, and if you were to play this out, there would probably be some additional snow late 1-9, um, maybe even to early 1-10, depending on the movement of that second storm system. And the, uh, the Sierra, you could be looking at 1 to 2 feet. Same for the Pacific Northwest. Same for parts of uh, central to northern Oregon or uh, Idaho. And there's even snow in Montana with this. So let's just hope this, uh, this holds together. Um, here is the Northeast. Now keep in mind, this is what we call worst case or best case scenario. It's possible that these low pressures, that these stronger lows that come out of the west, Colorado, move up into the northeast and take an optimal track. I'm assuming with this forecast that we're going to get everything to perfection. So this is your best or worst case scenario. Um, it's possible we see one to two feet. If some of the pieces don't fall into place, then the numbers are lower. But you get the picture. This is what could happen if everything comes to fruition and, 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 and just perfect perfection. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this uh, morning mountain weather update. Always appreciate you tuning in here and take care.